Hello friends, this video on is matter around us pure part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about the compound now. Com element we have seen, they are the one which we can break further. But compound are some sands which composed of more two or more elements. Two plus elements combine to form compound. Right? And they, they combine chemically. For example, hydrogen and oxygen they are two elements. They combine to form water. And they are combined chemically in fixed proportion. Right? Two plus elements combine chemically in fixed, uh, fixed proportion to form For example, HCl, hydrochloric acid, has one molecule of hydrogen, one molecule of fluorine to form HCl. H2SO4, sulfuric acid, two molecules of hydrogen, one sulfur, four oxygen to form hydrochloric acid. Carbon dioxide, two molecules of oxygen, one molecule of carbon to get carbon dioxide. All these are examples of compound. The easiest example you can think of is water. Right? So compounds are two plus elements combined in a fixed proportion chemically to form compound. Compound actually you can further break into elements okay there are tons of compounds and we have further classified compounds into ionic compounds covalent compounds organic compounds based on different properties so we'll study about these things in the later classes as of now you don't need to understand those concepts let's take a different mixture in compounds once again uh, both look similar to you right in, in compound we have various elements combined in a fixed proportion in mixture again we have various elements or compound we can mix see you can take elements for example you can take hydrogen you can take oxygen you can just mix them without any chemical reaction then it will be a mixture but if you have hydrogen and oxygen and you react at some temperature it becomes water this is a compound okay you just mix some elements of compound you get mixture but elements if they react they form a new compound in kind of mixture the composition is variable you can have five moles of hydrogen, 8 moles of water, you can have any proportion, doesn't matter. But in this, you have to have fixed composition. For example, for water, you should have 2 hydrogen and 1 oxygen. The composition is fixed. Right? These mixtures have the properties of the constituent substance. For example, hydrogen and oxygen, if you mix, just mix, they don't react. Then the property, final property will be similar to hydrogen and oxygen. When you talk about compound, the water will have totally different property as compared to hydrogen and oxygen. So the final output will have totally different property. In case of mixture, these particles actually here itself can be separated by some physical method. But once it has become compound, you need some chemical method to break this bond. Correct? Because it's the chemical process actually. What I can say. And this is a physical process. So that is the whole reason why we explain so many physical and chemical change. This is a chemical change. So two elements, different two or plus more than two elements combined chemically to form compound. Two or more than two elements or compound itself, they combine physically to form mixture. Since it is a physical change, you can actually separate them by physical method. Since it was a chemical change, to separate them, you need chemical method only. Let's do a recap. A mixture contains more than one substance mixed in any proportion. Mixture can be separated into pure substance by some techniques and we have seen so many techniques here. We have operation, distillation, sublimation, chromatography, so many things we have seen. A solution is a homogeneous mixture, which is something we have seen, which has two or more than sub, uh, two substance. And the major, the major component is called solvent and the minor is solute. This is typically not always true, but 99% case this is true. In some case, this may not be true. Right? The one which dissolves, that is solvent, and the one that is dissolved, that is solute. That is a better definition. But for now, you can assume this definition. The concentration of solution uh, in the is, is the is, is the amount of solute present per unit volume at any given concentration. That is concentration, right? It can vary, but when it and but when you talk about uh, solubility, that is the maximum amount of solute a solution can hold at a given temperature and pressure. Materials that are insoluble is solvent and have particles that are visible to naked eyes. Okay they form suspension and suspension is a typical heterogeneous mixture. 
right? Colloidals are also, there is doubt here. Some people say heterogeneous, some people say homogeneous. In fact, as per uh, uh, CBC, it is uh, homogeneous, heterogeneous, but I personally feel it is a heterogeneous mixture. Sorry, it is a homogeneous mixture. That's my assumption. But this is still a debatable topic on this. Here, the particle size is too small that they cannot be seen by naked eyes, but they are big enough to scatter light and thus they form uh, the short tendril effect. And they are very useful in industry. They have dispersed phase and dispersion medium. And um, we have seen so many examples of the colloidal solution. Milk is the one example. Pure substance can be elements or compound. Only two options we have for pure substance. Or I can say pure substance can be classified as elements and compounds. Element is a form of matter that cannot be broken down by chemical reaction into simple substance. A, a definition by Lavos here. And the compound in substance is composed of two or more different type of elements. They are chemically combined in a fixed proportion. So please note these two words. Chemical elements chemically combined, fixed proportion to form compound. And the properties of compounds are totally different from its constituent particle. But in case of mixture, the properties of the mixture is similar to the constituent particles. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.